Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell for more content. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Power BI report to the most recent file in a folder. This is really handy in case you have someone who's dropping a new file into a folder or an SSRS report that's dropping into a specified um, folder location and you want your Power BI report to pick up on this most recent file automatically. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have a folder full of three files. These are just text documents that have some data in them. Um, so let's go ahead and connect to this folder. So we go to get data and more, and we will see in the all, we have this folder option. We can specify a folder path, but we'll go ahead and browse for it. On my desktop, there is a data folder. Let's go ahead and click okay. And okay once again and we see the three files that I just showed you here, we have the option to combine them, which will combine all of these text files into one, which is actually pretty handy too. But for our purpose, we're gonna go ahead and click edit. And that will bring up the Power Query editor. And we see our three files here. So if we wanna get the most recent, we're gonna have to sort by uh, date modified, but we're gonna sort descending. So we now see that we have our three files still, but with our most recent at the top, then we're going to keep rows and keep top rows. And we're going to keep the top one row, which will keep our most recent row. And you see that right here. We know, now only have file three. Uh, in order to get the contents of file three, we have to click this double arrow button, kind of like a drill down button. Go ahead and click that. And that is going to expand your CSV into the actual data in that CSV. So we can see that this is what our data looks like. And let's go ahead and click OK. And that is going to transform it into our uh, data content. And there we go. This is our data right here. And if we go ahead and click Close and Apply, then we have our data and loaded into our data model. So let's go ahead and throw it into a nice table. We'll say value, country, sales, and we'll go ahead and throw in the source name as well. So we see our data there. Let's go ahead and throw in a nice little donut chart just for fun. We'll throw in country and the legend and sales and values. Make that a little bit bigger. Um, make this a little bit bigger just to see. Um, make that 20. Awesome. So it's nice and easy to see. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a new file and see how Power BI can pick up on this new file automatically. So let's go to our file. Uh, so let's go ahead and make, let's open up file three We'll go ahead and change these values, make United States 20, Canada will have 40, Russia will give 10, and Poland will be the big winner and we'll have 90. So I will go ahead and click Save As. I'll make this file 4. Go ahead and save that. And just to show you, I now have my data file. Uh, this was most recently updated 13 minutes after the previous, so this is our most recent file. So I'll go ahead and close that. And now once we click refresh, you'll see that our values automatically change to the values we just entered. So let's go ahead and click refresh. And there you see, we have the 90 from Poland like we saw, we have 40 for Canada. And we see that the source name is now file4.txt, just like our most recent file in this um, in this folder structure. So let's go ahead and click file one and I'm just going to give you another example showing that if we save this now and we have our most recent of file one and we go ahead and click refresh it automatically changes to that most recent file. So that's really cool and I just want to show you one thing in the edit queries um, tab here if we click on our if we click on our data we have basically just applied steps that it goes through every time that it refreshes. So first of all, it gets all of the, uh, let me go ahead and refresh the preview. So we go ahead, uh, it gets all of the files in our folder, and then it sorts it based on the date modified column, and then it keeps only the first row and basically hides the rest of the rows. And then it renames, um, it renames this source name column it removes all of the other columns, uh, and then it expands that table into the data that makes up that file. 
and then it basically just changes the types of these columns to make them what they actually are. Uh, so those are actually all the steps that it goes through when it refreshes. So this is a kind of a cool little trick just to be able to get the most recent file in your folder. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.